Good morning, welcome back to Casa Texpina. We're on build day number 182. Um, today, we're gonna walk around, see where everybody's at, uh, show you what all's going on. Uh, we've got painters, ceiling guys, ceiling installers, um, electricians, the regular crew. Um, so let's take a walk around, see where everybody's at today. Let's get started. Let's start off on the outside and work our way in. Uh, this morning we've got two of the painters out here sanding down all of the uh, exterior wall cladding where they put all the skim coat on. So now they're sanding it, make it smooth and ready for uh, sealant and prime coat that will be coming along later. Coming around to the front, <coughs> our two varnishers are still up here in the front, sanding away on the doors, sanding, sealing, sanding some more. All right, so they're continuing with doors. Coming on into the house. Mm, back into the noise. Um, here in the master bedroom, we've got the ceiling guys still continuing with the uh, drywall installation. We've got Tyler working inside the master bath. Um, Mr. Gabby here is putting in uh, grout. Uh, Mr. Jojo here is tying inside of the, um, yeah, tiling inside of the, throne room or the, the water closet and um, our carpenter Mr. Allen is prepping doors uh, to be hung here coming on back out yeah, ceiling guys are going to be continuing here uh, down the hallway it looks like uh, this is one of our ceiling crew and they're continuing down the hallway. Uh, coming into the dirty kitchen area, you see Mr. Chuck's here. Good morning. Um, and inside the dirty kitchen, we got Mr. Edmund and uh, Mr. Alex, and we're working on uh, the some of the kitchen cabinets, the shelving and whatnot. Uh, Mr. Chuck's here is helping Mr. Cho, and they're starting to pull wires through the outlets uh, throughout the house. <clears throat> okay, and let's go take a look in the back half of the house over on the guest side. Okay, coming into bedroom number two, laboratory area, Mr. Willie is wrapping up on the wall tile up here this morning. So that last row is going to be coming in. And then the uh, ceiling guys get to come back and lower the, lower the ceiling. Okay, let's go take a run upstairs. We've got two painters and another carpenter up here that I noticed when I was doing my walk around earlier. So we've, first up, you see Mr. Gel. He is sanding all of the, um, he's sanding all the mud and tape that they did yesterday afternoon. And over on the side, we've got Mr. JR, and they're starting to put on the first layer of prime coat uh, over the top of the, uh, all the mud and tape and uh, the rest of the, uh, rest of the ceiling drywall there. This is another one of our carpenters. This is Mr. Ferdy, and he will be working on door, getting doors hung as well. So same job as what Mr. Uh, Allen was doing downstairs. Poking his head in the door over there is Mr. Wilson. He will be uh, painting, uh, actually doing the, uh, it, the elastomeric sealant on the, he's on the uh, fiber cement board wall cladding. All right, so we got a couple of locations. Ceiling installers are adding in drywall ceilings for up here in the hallway. One of our electricians, Mr. Chuck, is going around and uh, cutting down some of the excess 
um, conduit that was on the top for the fence post where our fence post lights are going to go. So cutting off the excess, <coughs> still leaving the pull wires because we're going to start pulling uh, wires through these uh, conduits here soon within the next uh, little bit. All right, we're working our way into the out into the hallway from the uh, master's bedroom. Mr. Archie is securing the uh, gypsum ceiling there. And his uh, co-worker is over here in the corner uh, getting the next piece ready to go up in place. Started in bedroom number two. Mr. Gel is starting to work on some of the uh, mud and tape uh, for this area. We'll come back and see what he's working on a little later this afternoon. And Mr. Willie is putting on the last couple of pieces of tiles. So he's got one, two, three. Jason is uh, getting ready to get started with a little bit of uh, chipping and cleaning. They've got, I, I barely saw it when I was walking by, they've already got string line up, or in this case it's fishing line, that they're going to be using uh, to measure how far down he needs to go to make sure this is all leveled out, uh, getting ready for tile. Um, he's not doing tiling, he's just prepping to uh, get it ready. So a little bit more chip work in some places that have excess uh, cement buildup. Getting ready for uh, when they start doing the piling. Over here in the attic space, uh, one of the new carpenters, Mr. Birdie, is um, working on some of the doors, uh, chiseling out the uh, hinge locations where they're going to put the hinge plates. Uh, so he's working on that. Uh, for this particular door here that's going to lead out to the attic. Oh, we got two brave guys up on top by the uh, dormer window here. They're uh, doing a little cleanup uh, from the um, little cleanup from the uh, cement dust uh, where they had sanded all the uh, fiber cement board up here and the um, skim coat. So they're going back with a, a little bit of water and some wet rags. Uh, try and wipe it down a little bit, get most of the, the dirt off so it doesn't stick. So you can see where all the uh, the white dust here is. <clears throat> and that's what they're working on getting out. So everything's all uh, cleaning up. Okay, so we had a little explanation here between uh, the engineer just a minute ago and the painter. Um, so what we're going to be working on the process so they've already put up the uh, fiber cement board. They've already put on the skim coat to cover the holes and uh, sanded that. So now the next step is what he's doing right now, which is the first coat of the primer and sealer. Once the primer and sealer is done, they're gonna come back with the 701 elastomeric, uh, oh, sorry, plastomeric uh, flat latex base paint, um, as, as still a white base. And then once that dries, they'll come back with the gold, which will be the top layer. That'll be the third layer of paint. Uh, that'll be the, the top layer, and that's the elastomeric um, waterproof paint uh, for the outside edge. So that's what we're looking at for our exterior wall. All right, our uh, 
ceiling guys have come back in and they are uh, providing the additional support necessary uh, to support a ceiling chandelier. Um, we found a chandelier that we were looking at. Uh, we have not purchased it yet, but we're looking at it for the weight. And the weight is 75 to 80 kilograms, uh, which comes out to about 175 pounds. Um, so they're needing to make sure that it's going to hold that and they're putting in the additional supports up above the uh, sheetrock to make sure that it can withhold um, that additional weight. So the uh, tilers are still working their way around inside of the uh, throne room, otherwise known as a water closet. So that's where that's going to be at. And we've got a, uh, our, our door hung here for the master's closet area um, that has not been varnished yet but will be uh, when it's time that what they'll do is come back in take it off of the hinges and then just uh, varnish it then uh, rehang it all right so we've got the uh, gypsum board ceiling in coming down the hallway and they are starting the mud and tape down here in bedroom two um, they're going to continue to let the um, media room continue to dry all right so up in the media room we've got a door temporarily hung for the attic space okay and they've got the string line already done out so you can see it there for where the uh, tile is going to be started tomorrow so they got it squared up we're going to start here and work our way back so this is how high it is so you see the the ply board underneath <clears throat> that's going to be the height of their dry pack so they're putting the they use the dry pack method here we will show you that when they get started and i'll, I'll go beginning to end show you the process so look forward to that for tomorrow and down here in the uh, dining room and into the living room area Archie and crew are continuing with the um, gypsum board ceiling install. Uh, looks like they're going to start from here and work their way back into the uh, kitchen and breakfast area. And they are still continuing to work here in the uh, office area as well. Two painter guys doing mud and tape have moved into the bedroom number three, the third guest bedroom, or the second guest bedroom actually, but bedroom two and three so this is bedroom three all right all right what's up getting ready to get started with uh, a lot of dry pack for the tiles uh, we have gotten a new order of cement bags and so we got 75 bags of cement one of you guys asked about what was the brand we were using. We have used multiple brands here, but the type is a type 1P. I found out the P stands for Philippines. They do a, a special blend just for Philippines. Google it, it's on there. Ah, lots of rags and miscellaneous pieces and conduit and lacquer thinner for the paint. Yeah, lots of small stuff. I think we got new, uh, new kinds of lights for our fence posts we're going to go with the uh, recycled look here what do you think yeah no <laughs> just kidding um, what they're doing is they've cut down the uh, the electrical conduit where the fence the lights go on top of the fence posts and then they had to put a uh, some kind of bottle or some kind of protectant over the top uh, to keep water from going inside the conduit. Uh, so hopefully with the uh, with the, those conduits staying dry, we shouldn't have a problem with any of the uh, lines grounding out. You know, uh, getting a bad connection with water on them. So when it comes around time to uh, put the lights in place, all those conduits should be dry. Sanding sealer, tapos liliyain po, tapos po uh, 
applyan po siya ng wood pillar tawagin po masilya tapos ligyan na naman po sanding sealer tapos po patapos po ng sanding sealer ligyan na naman po then stain wood stain after the wood stain uh, sanding sealer again sanding, after sanding sealer uh, liya na naman pagkatapos po ng liya medyo le-level po yung kulay kulay niya uh, untawagin toner toning after toning uh, final final top coat clear gloss yun po okay so it goes from looking like this with just the sealer they'll sand it down yes sir then it's gonna look like this one over here do some more sanding Yes, sir. So from this one, what do we do with this one here? Just uh, more, more filling? More filling material? Or? This more uh, wood filler. More wood filler? Yes, sir. So after one more time this, with the wood uh, After this nyan, sir, uh, apply na naman yung sanding sealer. Okay. Then sanding na naman. So then sanding na naman, then it's gonna feel like this first one over here. After sanding, sir, this is the... Then it feels like this, almost like a baby's butt. It's really, really smooth. Very smooth. Okay. Thank you, yeah. Thank you Wilson. Ah, uh, ang gagamitin pa lang uli sir. Uh, number 400 or 1000. Oh. Up to a, the uh, sand 1, paper grit. use. Yeah, up to 1000 grit. Yeah, that would be yes, smooth. Sir. And then <laughs> Okay. That was the uh All right, that was the Oh, well, they're gone now. That was the uh ending bell so it's yabba dabba do time i was trying to get a real quick uh idea of how it is they go through the multiple stages of sanding for these doors it's amazing when you get done because this is super super smooth um, but this is still not the finished product yet they still have to go through and do a, a the staining and then the varnish coat over the top of it so it's got a shiny finish um, so lots of things going on today uh, nothing not one single thing to to really focus on but a lot of small things like I've said before small steps make uh, big changes so if y'all like today's video please give us a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more of these videos hit the Casa Tex Pina star right over here and we'll be subscribed uh, hit the bell icon just below the view screen and you'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure so until we see you again tomorrow for Friday and tiles up front, up top. Y'all have a great afternoon and God bless. Thank you, Wilson Kasapanan for the impromptu interview.